what's going on? This is Gene Blinkoff, founder and CEO of DB Planet Earth, where we market properties and neighborhoods so you can find a place where you belong. Mic check. What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> Look, I decided to start a little YouTube show. It's going to be every single freaking week. And what we're going to do in here is generally what we already do all day, every day, is we find what marketing strategies work the best for agents that we really like, real estate agents that we really like. And look, what do we like in a real estate agent? Because I believe and our whole team believes that a person that's living on earth today should be able to not just find the real estate within their market, but to truly find a place wherever it is, in any city, in any country, in any place on earth, any neighborhood, where they should, they should be able to find a place where they belong. As somebody who's an immigrant myself, and look, I'm an immigrant where I moved to United States when I was 15, lived there for a bunch of time, moved cities, then after I started my own business, I started traveling. I went to a bunch of different countries. I lived in a few different countries. And like now I'm actually right now, this moment I'm in Ukraine with part of our Ukrainian team. And so I found that it is just a tremendous, tremendous thing when you find other places on earth that you really like. Maybe you even like them better than the place where you were born, okay? And I think that the world of the future, what's gonna get us all closer is us being okay with moving somewhere else, okay? And that's the agent, that, so the agents who enable that in this world are the agents that we like to work with to get us closer to that vision faster, okay? So the way we're gonna do this, the way we're gonna start doing this is we're actually gonna go and research a few of the agents in the market and break down what marketing strategies they are using what works for them, okay? And how are they killing it? How are they getting leads? How are they, what are their Instagram strategies? How are they doing the right things online to market themselves? Look, I think marketing yourself online nowadays, if you've got a great service, if you love what you do, if you, if you love providing the service that you, and, and people are really happy working with you, you've got to, if it's the responsible thing to put that out there, to put that message out there in the world, that way people can actually find you. The people that need you can find you, okay? And those are the agents that we're gonna break down for you. In the process, what you're gonna do is you're gonna learn a ton if you're a real estate agent or somebody in a real estate profession, or if you're just somebody that's looking for a real estate agent in whatever area that we're going to be researching at that time and how you should look for them you're going to be able to get a wealth of information number one what works for real estate agents to market themselves number two how to find that perfect real estate agent who's going to help you find a place where you truly truly belong okay so let's get started i'm going to dive into my screen and start researching and hacking and funnel hacking and and reverse engineering some of the best agents marketing tactics. Let's dive into the screen. Boom. Okay. All right. So let us get started. Okay. So number one. So at first, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and look on Zillow. Okay. So today we're going to pick Somerville, Massachusetts. Okay. Somerville, Mass. Uh, and uh, this is a city where I actually used to, I, I used to live right near there. Somerville is a, uh, it's a borough that's kind of a, it's actually its own city, but it's uh, it's close to Boston, it's close to Cambridge. Um, it's a pretty interesting place, it's pretty big for, for like a borough, right? Like you can see it's like almost, almost bigger than Cambridge itself. And uh, it's kind of very very residential residential place uh, there's there's it's got a couple malls it's got this really cool mall assembly square let's let's just dive into that real quick show you what that looks like um, assembly square is pretty neat it's like a it's just like a big mall area with a bunch of restaurants bunch of things to do there's some like waterfront restaurants on, on the river there kind of pretty freaking cool okay there's some subway tea stops in Somerville and all that stuff <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna plug in a little clip uh, right now 
of Somerville just to show you uh, just to show you what Somerville kind of looks like so let's uh, let's look at some shots from Somerville let's, let's roll the clip Now we're going to go and look at, um, first we're going to look at Zillow, which is, uh, you know, if you've been around, you probably know what Zillow is. It's a website that shows you a bunch of properties, a bunch of agents. Now, we don't believe that Zillow does a particularly great job of showing you a place where you belong, but for now, until we... Uh, Get closer to our mission, right? We're we're gonna use Zillow for certain things, right? And one of them is to find agents. Now let's take a look because we've got a few folks. The way Zillow works is, of course, you've got some folks that are paying Zillow um, to be featured on there, right? So these folks up top here, uh, and look, they might be great agents. Um, we've got actually we're probably gonna see our, some of our clients on the list here, but. Um, these folks up top there these are the folks that pay Zillow to get leads and then uh, the folks down below these folks actually uh, rank on Zillow because they've got you know a lot of recent sales they've got a lot of reviews and stuff like that uh, and, you know Zillow's got its own little algorithm on how um, how this this thing works for them right so uh, local reviews, I believe that means reviews like in actual Somerville, right? So that's why they're ranking so high here is because they've got the most reviews in Somerville itself, okay? So let's take a look at Santana Properties team because uh, we're not going to take a look at the Asians that are just buying uh, presents on Zillow, which uh, doesn't really tell us whether they're like... You know whether they've earned that rank here at least we can see that they've earned it by the actual like results right eight recent sales and some real 13 local reviews so let's take a look at santana properties team and check out how they are marketing themselves okay so let's take a look collaboration of service oriented realtors and support staff okay sweet let's take a look at first <clears throat> at their website and see how they're doing there and uh, as we go along me being a professional professionale digital marketer we're gonna actually take a look at what are some of the smart things they're doing here if they could be uh, doing better with their website and let's take a look so number one oh awesome awesome thing is they've got a video on here that actually talks about who they are and that's pretty cool because that's actually going to increase their uh, Google search engine rank now when we look at some real real estate agent right let's take a look in Google and see how high Santana properties actually rank I'm gonna guess that they rank pretty freaking high okay uh, well, they don't rank very high on uh, Google My Business here, which that stinks, but we've got Benoit Real Estate, O'Brien Real Estate, ooh, yeah, so interesting, very interesting, not that much ranking for Santana Properties team here on uh, the Google search, which is unfortunate for these guys, you know, but they're probably leveraging some other strategies to get them traffic to get them leads right so but um, look some of the things that these guys could be doing uh, to to get a higher to get a higher search rank is they could be getting more backlinks number one right they could be looking at their page structure right there's a lot of SEO scanners like search engine optimization scanners that are free right actually one of the good ones is neilpatel.com where you can really just analyze the SEO of your website but when you do that what you should do if you're a real estate agent is you also should take a look at some of the highest ranking competitors and analyze them as well because what a website like that will give you is it's also going to give you what backlinks do they have and that means what other websites from the 
interwebs, right, are linking back to them, which to Google means uh, that those are actually, uh, that, that it's actually a very, very prominent website and business, right? So, but let's, uh, let's keep taking a look at their website here. Your home, your investment, your experts, number one real estate team, Cambridge Somerville area. Okay, so that's a bold claim. That's always good to do. Even if, look, very subjective as to who's number one, right? Uh, search homes, sell your home. Okay, two call to action buttons, cool. Recent videos, so that's pretty sweet, is they've got a uh, little video here. Antana Properties team at Keller Williams in Cambridge. Today we're here at 22 Newberry Street in the Teal Square area of Somerville, where we're getting ready to list three newly renovated condos and put them onto the market for sale. Now, whether it's a new development like this or someone's home, our approach to selling is always the same. Get the property looking its best, execute our marketing plan, and make it as easy as possible for as many people as possible to see it in person. One major advantage of working with our team is that we have our own staging furniture. Whether you know is the fact that we have our own stager as well. And this includes people who may not need furniture at all. I always schedule a time to walk through the prop. The director of marketing. I'm in charge of all the print and digital marketing for our listings. This includes brochures, flyers, and postcards, as well as running our website and coordinating our social media campaigns. My job is to make sure that our listings reach as many people as possible. Keeping these services in-house makes for a streamlined process and lets us be more f***ed out. So during that, the offer. So, okay, so, so far, you know, these guys do a pretty good job with, like, listings. But as far as, like, hey, if someone's having a question, like, hey, is Somerville the right place for me? I don't yet see, I don't yet see anything here uh, for folks like that. But let's let's keep looking, right? Maybe maybe we'll find something. Let's go and check out their Instagram. All right, Santana Properties team. Okay, let's take a look. So we've got all right. We've got some reviews. We've got listings. This is very good. They've actually got videos of their team members speaking which is something that a lot of real estate agents don't do and it's very because it make, makes it very hard for somebody that uses instagram to look for their real estate agent or for real estate advice it makes it very hard for them to actually know like what's the personality of the people that i'm going to be working with hi this is jason santana with north america development and we're back in somerville today for a quick project update first time we're here we're having tons of fun doing a complete demolition then we got a little bit okay cool 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 all right but not that much video right as you see <clears throat> a lot of this is just pictures 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 cool um once again i don't see a lot about somerville itself okay don't really see a lot about somerville which is you know that's their way of doing it but that's not our perfect perfect prospect right like i i want to I want people that are going to help others learn and see if Somerville is the right place for them, right? These guys are mostly just focusing on like houses, on, you know, what is, what is this house, what is this place, how much it costs. Um, we don't believe that that's um, as important. It's important, but it's, you know, to the, to the folks that, uh, that we're trying to help in this world, uh, folks like us. Who, uh, who are immigrants, who, who emigrate a lot, uh, who, who travel a lot, this this is not doing them a ton of ton of service, right? So let's keep looking. Let's keep looking for, uh, let's take a look at their YouTube channel though, because I think that's worth taking a look at as far as, uh, you know, what they're doing here. Okay. And this is Matt Sloan, listing specialist on the Santana Properties team at Keller Williams in Cambridge. Today we're here at 22 Newberry Street in the Teal Square area of Somerville. For the videos, okay. Okay, so, okay, not too crazy here. Um, and let's see, now one of the things uh, we do here at DB with our listing videos is we make it a almost a requirement for folks to showcase the neighborhood and this is cool I can see that here yep very nice very nice they're showing some restaurants very very cool okay cool 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 all right so they did um, you know they did show a little bit they, they showed a little bit of the of what it's close to 
and that's pretty sweet okay so awesome cool so hey that's better than nothing all right but i still don't think that um i still don't think that it's a hot prospect for us right so on the rank of hot or not for uh these guys working with db or for us reaching out to them be like hey guys we want to help you i don't think that they are hot so they're gonna go into that not okay but let's keep looking all right let's take a look at another team here okay before we then go to uh, Instagram so let's see one local review 25 recent sales okay Steven Brinus okay let's take a look at what these guys do and how they do it okay all right most professional up-to-date innovative techniques on real estate that this area has to offer okay sweet all right stevebrimus.com so it looks like a husband and wife team pretty cool got a few yeah active listings bunch of stuff in somerville looks like most of them are well, actually no there's a few that are in the same building it's probably uh like an apartment building or something let's take a look at the website <clears throat> okay all right kind of very oof, very very busy like this picture is not rendered well it's doesn't look super high quality I yeah this website could could get some improvement but let's see if they're actually helping somebody understand what Somerville is like okay so it's a lot about their team very cool consulting kind of development projects market reports Okay, let's take a look at this market reports, right? See, the, the thing is, is that most people, most agents kind of make an assumption that people already know where they want to live. But when you look at the world around us, right, there's so much information as far as like, what is this freaking neighborhood? Like, where, where should I, you know, where should I look? And uh, a real estate agent, by, by helping somebody provide the like, hey, Somerville is a place where you're gonna get this, right? And what happens is you're gonna get so much more reach to other people in uh, in the world, especially when you know new platforms are gonna be coming along in the real estate world, where you're not just looking by what the house looks like, okay? But you're looking more for like, hey, I don't care if I live in Somerville or in Denver, I care more about like, hey. How far do I have to go to ski? Okay. Hey, how far do I have to go to a co-working space? Because I'm because I'm self-employed, right? Thirty percent of America is self-employed and it's growing, right? Um, you know things like that. Like where? Like is there going to be like a ton of party around me? Because I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to settle down and uh, you know and, and live with a, with a, with like uh, have a, like a very meaningful relationship with somebody. And if there's bars and partying and like drunk people and chicks everywhere, like. Uh, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be like you know conducive to to my goals right and that's uh, that's what uh, I think that the real estate game is missing now and a lot of people agree with us because we get um, we, we have a lot of fans that are helping us bring this vision come to life right including you which I'm so glad you're watching this because hey uh, okay, this is gonna be a fun journey just discovering like hey who are the truest agents in United States. So if you want to be a part of that process, you should go ahead and subscribe right now and hit that bell. Okay, so let's take a look. Alright, so not much here. Okay. Let's take a look at Instagram. Let's let's try it. Alright. Maybe we'll see something. Let's look at Facebook too. Maybe we'll see something there. Okay. Uh just a bunch of homes, homes, homes. And, um, you know, and this is what you see mostly from agents. Ooh, what's going on here? Okay, that's a construction progress. Okay, for a condo building. Okay. Yeah, you see homes, 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 homes. And yes, a lot of Americans are obsessed with what the inside, what the exterior looks like. But this is missing a whole big and growing segment of market who is more about what's around it what's this 
what is what do I feel in that neighborhood? What like how am I, how am I gonna feel in that house? Because that house is like what is it surrounded by, right? What kind of life? Right? So they're not selling the life, they're selling the box, okay, as, as I like to say it. But uh look at pretty box. <laughs> but uh once again we I don't see here a perfect uh perfect prospect for us, right? Yeah, this is this is in and look if you're a real estate agent and, and, and your feed uh, your Instagram feed looks like this, like all houses, all houses. Uh, you're not doing yourself a favor because like this is, like Instagram is cool for that, but I mean, there's a reason why this is not getting like a ton of engagement. Obviously there's other things you have to interact on Instagram and create relationships for, for Instagram to really rank your posts, right? But um, this is just like all houses, no personality. Like we don't get to see, we get to see a little bit here, right? A little news report. But we don't get to see the personality of these folks prior to prior to going to them. Okay, so let's keep looking. And now, what we're actually going to do is uh, we're going to what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go to Instagram. We're going to try to find people there. We're going to go to Instagram. We're going to go to YouTube to see because if a real estate agent is more active on those platforms, right? For us, for the mission and the vision that we're working on, okay, is um, th so for us, this is going to be much uh, more like, like we're much likely, more likely going to find real estate agents like that on Instagram and on YouTube. And much more Instagram right now. I think YouTube is kind of starting to come up for real estate agents. People are starting to start a channel and realize the potential of reaching people you know nationwide that are trying to move here that are gonna need a real estate agent in your city but uh you know are not are not like convinced by for example zillow because all zillow shows is like the number of recent sales and not necessarily someone that's going to help you like understand hey is this the right place for me okay so let's go ahead and look on Instagram okay so let's look at all right Somerville real estate agent okay ooh not a lot of hashtags ooh that's some real real estate agents some real real estate how about that much more right 1732 posts and we're gonna take a look at actually like who are the top ranking posts here right ooh look at that we got one from DB Nationwide. So this one of our videos actually from DB Planet Earth. Somerville is known for like so much different cuisine from all kinds of countries and I think you know this video is pretty cool but we could have done a better job of showing like what exact cuisine right right so I'm look and I'm always like I'm always self-critical about like hey what can we be doing better <coughs> but um <laughs> that's pretty cool that uh, that post is ranking <laughs> on the on the top posts here, uh, so I'm just kind of geeking out about. It. Actually, this is another one. This is another one um, of the same building, just a different condo in that building. So that's pretty sweet, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, let's get back on track here. And uh, I, I just geek out from our 
uh, from our videos, obviously. So let's take a look. We've got one of these is KRE Corp. So let's take a look at those guys. Uh, all right. And uh, top posts is is a you know it's a decent metric to look by, but sometimes it's hard to say why a post is ranking super high, right? Uh, I know, I know for a fact these folks follow us on Instagram because they like our stuff all the time. But um, not a lot going on here on this Instagram. Okay. Definitely, definitely gotta get, gotta get more uh, on this Instagram. Like, But these guys, look, they don't have a lot of posts. They've still got like decent amount of followers for a real estate agent because they probably either gained them pretty early or ooh recent developments current property portfolio that's pretty crazy that's awesome very nice very nice see these guys dominate the city it could be uh, could be very well um, portrayed <clears throat> they could portray you know by showing it these properties they could portray the whole the whole neighborhood and makeup of Somerville and be the number one authority of hey here's what Somerville looks like here you go right hey, so could be doing that we'll probably reach out to them um, <clears throat> I'll probably reach out to them because that's a that's a um, very very a lot of potential with this much going on here a lot of potential to become the the digital guide of Somerville right for these guys so let's keep looking all right let's see if we've got somebody here that's actually trying to show a neighborhood or at least showing up on video and talking to folks Charles Cherney okay What's going on? Hi everyone, it's Charles Journey at Compass, and I wanted to tell you today about 17 Murdoch Unit A in Somerville, two unit associated bike path with Ooh, association located just outside the Talking about community, community bike, bike paths, path okay. Easy access, right to direction. Davis Square. You'll find it online at Cedar Place, Somerville, and. Let's take a look. All right, Cedar Place, Somerville. Cool. Some renderings. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so we're starting to get there, right? Magoon Square, Porter Square, Union Square, Harvard, Harvard Square. Okay. Not hyperlinked or anything so we could see what those actually are. Right, that would be kind of nice. Is there a video here? There's not a video here. Mm, that's unfortunate. So let's Charles Cherry. Let's drop him down. Drop him down and give him have our team give him a call later. Cause uh, that would be very very cool because he's see he's on the right track. Like he's talking about unit what's in your body there. What's cool? Below. Additional ceiling three exposure to the open floor plan. But uh, you know. How is somebody gonna find it, right? Uh, it's very hard to find it if it's not, you know. And I'm and I'm almost guaranteeing that Charles Cherney is not on uh, is not on YouTube. Ooh, look at that! He's actually is. Oh my God! Very very nice. Okay, I am so impressed right now. Look at this. Eight years ago, actually, eight years ago. Order square. Look, these are just photos, okay? But what Charles has done here, he's was he was actually showing this stuff eight years ago. Oh my god, this is sick. Look at that. Is this him? Is this actually Charles Cherney? Cambridge for sale. It must be. Yeah, it must be him. So cool, Charles. This is awesome. Very, very cool. Meet top realtor Charles Cherney. All right, hey, maybe we've got, maybe we've got a winner for today. Let's check it out. MIT showing some Cambridge. Very nice. And look, I, I suspect, 
I actually suspect, and I don't know this for a fact, it might be true, it might be not, I suspect that this might just be Charles. Hello, my name is Charles Cherney, okay. and I'm a top residential real estate broker serving buyers and sellers in Cambridge and Somerville, Massachusetts. I was fortunate to attend Harvard and graduate in the late 1980s, which was a great experience living on campus. But then to stay here, to live on as a resident in Cambridge and Somerville has just been great to discover a true European quality of life, to be able to walk everywhere, to enjoy restaurants, cafes, nightclubs, the universities. There's a vitality in the Cambridge Somerville marketplace that I've not met with or found elsewhere. And I have a feeling if you call this your home, you'll find it as well. Very cool. So he's really, really showing here in this video uh, what's going on here, which is awesome. Just great job, Charles. Absolutely amazing. Nice work on this. All right. Cambridge Stories. Look at this. So cool. Making things. When I was my parents, I connected to her in my childhood, and not everybody has the opportunity to have that oh connection with their family. And when I teach people how to sew or knit, when I help them pick up a stitch, I feel like I am adding to her legacy and what they sacrificed for my family to do what Just we do. Just amazing. CambridgeStories.com. Charles, if you're watching this, just great work, man. You know, and, and here's here's a couple of things. So look, Charles is like on the right track with us, so let's give him some tips on, on how to get this out there, right? Now, uh, this this so his YouTube channel, right, <clears throat> is um, number one thing. Number one is you want to work a little bit on <clears throat> your um, headline over here, right, and a thumbnail, okay because that's what's going to enable this to go and reach broader broader things okay um also i'm i'm not sure if uh you know n number one i would not shut off the comments um look there is people that are going to hate on this in fact uh people are going to hate on this like very video that i'm playing right now it's going to be like some agents who don't like what we mentioned about them right or, or some people that like Oh my God, like this is, I don't agree with this guy. You know what I mean? Like who cares about the neighborhood? People just care about the house. Like there's going to be so many fucking haters, you know, excuse me. Cause I do swear a lot, right? <laughs> but, um, it's going to be so many haters. Like who cares? You should not turn off the comments. And here's one big reason is because when people are commenting on your post, you actually want people to comment. Okay. All right. By the way, comment down below if you think Charles is hot or not on our scale of the perfect prospect, the perfect client, the perfect person that sees the world our way for DB Planet Earth. Um, and so Charles, we can, uh, we can definitely help you with, uh, with optimizing your, uh, your thumbnails, right? And this can be done after the video, right? Which is very cool. You actually can upload a new thumbnail to your existing video, you can change the headline on your existing video, so you can improve the search ranking of your website simply by updating your current videos. Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna send this video to Charles afterwards to make sure that he sees it. But uh, very, very good job. I mean, I can already tell that um, you know Charles is showing uh, stories of local business owners, which is just absolutely freaking awesome okay like uh drink water is a drink waters is a great clothing store for men uh, in cambridge this is just very very cool i'm super super excited now of course this is like more cambridge not somerville right but uh, and, and we've got somerville today but uh you know can't can't uh, help but really be impressed at what i see here with charles stuff okay so very nice job and uh you know for having these videos here definitely helps a lot uh for search engine optimization another thing that i would do if i was charles uh let's see if he's got a blog on here 
uh, buying, selling. Okay, blog. Okay, cool. It's got a blog. Um, let's see. It's selling your home right now. Mistake. Okay, pretty actually. Ooh, pretty, pretty extensive blog. Quite a bit of articles. Wow, wow, a lot of articles. So what I was gonna suggest is that uh, you definitely so those business stories, those Cambridge stories, you definitely want to transcribe those and put them in a blog as well. Okay, put them in a blog article also, which then you can make a link from your website to theirs, that's gonna create a backlink for them, okay? That's actually gonna increase the search ranking a little by a little bit, but hey, who knows? To the business owner, okay? That, uh, so that's pretty cool. So, but let's see, Cambridge Mass Real Estate. I'm very curious uh, how high Charles is gonna come up on here, if he's gonna be one of the top ranking folks here, okay? All right. Uh, I kind of wish he was. <laughs> this guy's trying so hard, okay? Like, so very, very cool. Ah, uh, unfortunately, I don't see them. Oh, there we go. Charles Cherney. And uh, it looks like a listing. One of the listings is. Um, so, Charles, you've got all the right ingredients for search engine optimization you've got a you've got a great blog section you've got videos on your on your on your main pages right which increase the amount of time that people spend on your site which actually increase tells google that your site is relevant so uh there are probably a few things that you need to do or have somebody do or contact us and we'll help you find the right professional to get this done um yes you you really need um some SEO done on your website because I'm 100% sure that if we optimize or somebody, well, one of our partners optimizes your SEO in a way that's kind of, it's probably like the page structure, maybe the page loading time, maybe your title tags, maybe the copy on the website, all those things have to be in place, okay? Uh, once those little things are gonna be done, it's gonna be a, what's called, what I call a force multiplier to get your site to outrank all the others because you've got all the right ingredients. And look, I, I, I have like some authority to speak on this because the way we grew DB in the beginning, right, we started in the Boston market, uh, is like, I, I used to work at IBM, okay? I still got the, the, the habit of dressing up, right? But no, I'm just kidding, I dressed up since I was a kid. But like, when I was at IBM, I would moonlight, or actually I would work on my SEO, during my uh, working time at IBM. Like I was a manager, I didn't have to be working all the time. In fact, I thought that that was like not a great idea. Like if you're a manager and you're working more than folks, you probably like don't have time to just like spot issues, right? So I would just like work on my SEO a lot of times. And we got to number one spot on SEO in the Boston market, right? And that's how we grew really fast in Boston. So Charles, very nice job. Um, would love to meet you, would love to discuss uh, how you do business? If we could be, if, if we could be of service with uh, with our services, whether it's you know listing immersive tours, whether it's branding videos for you, this content for your Instagram, right? Oh wait, have we taken a look at Charles's Instagram? Charles Charity. Okay. Oh yeah, we have. That's how we got here, right? We got here through Instagram. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, very, very cool. So, Charles, nice, nice work. And uh, but let's keep. Uh, let's 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 do one more. Somerville real estate. Yeah, but on Instagram, look. Here's the other thing. We've got a large editing team. It's actually located here in Ukraine. What I would do if I was Charles uh, is I would also chop up all this content that's on video right now that you've got on video on your YouTube channel and start putting that on Instagram because more and more people are gonna find you, are gonna discover you. And I truly think that you, Charles, you, sir, are being super helpful in the Cambridge and Somerville market. Very nice job, my compliments. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep rolling. 
All right. Okay. Someone else is courageous to hey guys, speak on camera. I just wanted to check in and say hi. Um, I've been working a lot lately with first-time home buyers, and what I've noticed is that while a lot of decisions have been made, um, often people aren't sure if they want to do con. Okay. Let's see. Okay, like now that's a rare thing, believe it or not, for an agent to actually be speaking on camera, not be not be shy or afraid of it. That's a rare thing, right? I mean, you can see like these people actually stand out. <clears throat> Let's take a look what we got here. Contingent. Okay. Uh, looks like she started doing that recently, right? Uh, Amy started doing that recently, which is which is cool. But uh, and Amy. Uh, if you're watching this, I hope you're going to keep doing it, right? You're going to keep doing it because um, Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Ivy Realty. Let's see if Ivy Realty does um, help folks understand the places around the property, right? Okay, located in Davis Square. Okay, see that's the thing. Like, why not tell about Davis Square? Why not make a little video about Davis Square? Okay, why not do that? And, and you're you're already there. Okay, and look, you're already like not afraid of being on camera. You don't even look. If you wanted to look professional, contact us and we'll we'll deploy a video team and they'll. And We'll do it professionally. We'll film a great video of you promoting your brand and talking about Davis Square and talking about Somerville as well. It's going to have aerials, it's going to have you, it's going to have great B roll. We're going to show you inside restaurants, inside local businesses, all that cool stuff. We do that anywhere in any city in the country, right? We actually serve 10 cities just first, uh, this first, like the, in, in January, had projects in 10 different cities, okay? We still, you know, kind of. Uh, have like domination centers where we, we do like quite a few videos per one market but we are our mission and our vision is to be in every single city is to have a perfect partner who is the owner of that city owner of that neighborhood actually two folks right we're looking for one gal and one gentleman okay so let's um so that's one quick tip for uh, for amy and uh my compliments on um really just going there and going out there and uh, not being afraid of video off the camera. That's uh, that's quite quite rare, believe it or not. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Let's keep looking through Somerville. Okay. Got the Santana Properties team, folks. All right. Okay. Let's keep going. I got a little globe here. I got a thing for globes. I've got we've got we've got a couple of globes here in the office. Um, okay, squeaky attic. All right, what we got here? We got a little video. Sell Boston. Okay, all right, it's just a video of a property. Okay, so mostly just houses, houses, houses. There we got Amy again. Look how much Amy stands out just by not being afraid to be on video. Look, you. Hey, you can make your own conclusions, okay? By the way, uh, comment down below with the word guide uh, if you want me to send you a personal branding guide that we make that's going to essentially just give you a full formula of how to get, uh, how to structure your videos, what to talk about in each one of them, how to never run out of things to say, and how to sound super genuine and what things to mention right to really connect deeply connect with your prospects uh it's a super cool guide we worked with some of the best marketing professionals in the country to put that thing together so I'll just comment and i'll share that thing with you uh that's cayman islands that's not somerville okay so look besides charles right now i don't see anybody doing anything like that on instagram right I don't see anybody doing that. Now let's take a look. Um, let's take a look on YouTube and let's go and search for Somerville real estate agent. Okay. Best agent today, 12 years, six years ago. Okay, that's a long time ago. Somerville Media Center. All right, let's take a look what's going on here. 
few years ago. He's put me in front of a stove. I'm a rock star, but we're going to get some really good advice. So let's jump in with both feet about some of our real estate. First, I made you really get into real estate. Well, actually, the story we were just talking about when we first bought and sold our, our condo in L.A., that was just such a great experience. I found it really exciting. Um, okay, all right. I'm not seeing much about the neighborhood what it's like to live in somerville massachusetts look at that mr leor leor nice freaking job Ooh, check that out <laughs> that is part of our video that we made for them <laughs> let me show you um this was actually a while ago but um that's so cool like this is so cool like oh my god this is so, this is such a good idea to do this uh to start this YouTube show because <laughs> shit, it's, people are using our content like in their stuff. It's so cool. It's it's awesome. That's for uh, you go. So that's the that was the video, right? Like shameless, shameless self-promotion, <laughs> okay, of uh, of our videos. Uh, but uh, Lior, this is awesome. You made a video about what it's like to live in Somerville. That's amazing. Now, <clears throat> Lior, uh, I'm gonna be sending this video to you, but I want you to know this that um, you definitely want to work on your thumbnail. That's a huge thing. That's like you already got 600 views. That's look. That's pretty freaking decent, right? Um, you got 600 reviews and look how high you're ranking on YouTube for some real real estate agent. YouTube is the number two search engine in the world, okay? So you definitely, definitely want to um, work on your thumbnail here. I think the title is actually great. For somebody that's looking for a summer real, it's actually freaking great. That's another one of our videos <laughs> that we made for them. Super, super cool. So, what's funny is that these guys actually started flying a drone themselves, right? Because it's freaking cool. It's so much fun. Like, I'm, <laughs> you know, like, how, how, how could you be surprised? Um, so, so they started playing a drone themselves, like making content on their own, which is like super, super cool. Very, very exciting. Love it. I just love it. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, you went through the neighborhoods. Great job. Hey guys. So we are over in Davis Square right now, uh, highlighting our Somerville neighborhoods. I love and, uh, it. I love it. Train is right this us. is exactly. it. Right? Look, um, um, so um, Davis is, is definitely one of the more desirable neighborhoods in all of Somerville to live. It's been that way for a very long time. Uh, because so this is Taylor here, and this is Lior with uh, uh, Taylor uh, Arlington and Lior right team, Angle right Walkers in Boston. Uh, Davis for a number of different reasons. So if you actually walk on the streets, we'll show you some of these shops, but you're gonna see Great job guys. Here again. Um, show on the bike path. The space too. This, this. And we're at Tufts University. Professors, students, graduate students. Some professionals. Uh, these people footage. gotta live somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and Tufts Medical yeah. is one of the best medical schools in the country. Uh, kind of Just freaking low. Nice job. Nice work. Very, very cool. So, yeah. Hey, Lior is trying to crush it on YouTube. Make sure you go and follow Mr. Lior Brzezanski because I can already tell just from the consistency of him posting, this is going to go pretty far. Okay. Very, very nice job. All right. So, uh, a couple of advices to get <clears throat> to make this even better. Okay. Number one. Hire out your thumbnails. Just like get a little a designer to do your thumbnails, and 
Also, I would also get a video editor. Now, look, we've got an army of video editors that can edit this, these videos for you. No, number one, save you hours, hours, hours of time because you already know how long this stuff takes. And look, I know you might enjoy it, but here's what I do, right? Like here, I can tell you what I do, right? Like we've got all our listing videos, all our branding videos for, for agents. Uh, those are being edited by our editing pros and I still edit, right? Like me, Gene, I still edit, but I edit more like cool, cool things. Like for example, uh, you know, something like this. Just like super crazy stuff. <laughs> So like I still edit stuff, okay? But I edit like stuff that I like, okay? That I like to work on. Uh, this is a lot of work, man. So look, if you need an editor, we'll pair you up with somebody that really feels it with you, and uh, boom, boom, and uh, just edit your content because you already, I can tell you love the stuff. You love flying drones and stuff, and the cost to get your own editor is, um, you know, it's it's okay. It's gonna like vary by what we're doing. But because everyone is kind of, we're using overseas talent for this, uh, you're gonna get more for less, okay? So that's amazing. But um, great, great job. Lior, I am very, very impressed. Very, very cool and good luck to you. Okay, but uh, yeah, thumbnails, big, big, big thing. Make sure you use thumbnails. Don't, short, don't shortcut the game, right? It's like Michael Jordan said, like if you try to shortcut the game, the game will shortcut you, okay? But uh, look, I think we found our winners for today. We've got you know, Charles Cherney and Lior. I'm definitely marking them on, a, on the hot or not in real estate scale. These guys are definitely, definitely hot, okay? So congratulations, guys. Very, very cool. Nice work, okay? So look, if you are a real estate agent, if you want me to, you want me to be, you, you, you want to be a part of this, like you want to actually have me go through your marketing, uh, have me go and like show what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, what you could be doing better, right? Look, I hope like, and some things might sound uncomfortable, some things might even sound harsh, but that's how we get better. Look, I, I deal with criticism all the time. We're a client service company. I deal with criticism all the time. To me, criticism is like, it's it's I, I have it for dessert okay so <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> don't worry about criticism it helps you uh, look the way I see it we're here we're, we're in this business obviously for agents but look like agents are our, our, our clients will help us make things happen right and but in the end we're all working for a larger mission larger vision and that's for us it's not just helping people find the place to live it's finding the place the city the neighborhood and even the country where they belong the most okay so hey very very glad that you tuned in today go ahead and subscribe i really appreciate it because we've got to grow this thing if you've got other agents that you're like dude this guy's sharing some crazy advice we should submit our channels to him or we should submit our competitors to him or whatever uh for me to review go ahead and subscribe and put post link and post a comment i'm going to be reading all the comments all the comments um i'm not yet giving our team this uh this this youtube show to, for, for our team to edit right now uh as you should if you're starting any kind of anything new whether on instagram or youtube I'm not going to actually like, hey, Dima or like, hey, like what, what, Max or Dimitri, one of like my favorite editors, right? I'm not gonna be like, please go edit this right now, no. I'm going to start like first seven or 14 episodes, I'm not gonna do any editing whatsoever. Why? Because I may, well, except, except for the thumbnail. The thumbnail, uh, the thumbnail I will, uh, the thumbnail will obviously tag, tag it for a good search and all that stuff but as far as like crazy production value right we're not going to do anything crazy we might add like a little introduction thing but that's it because we do want to keep it very we're going to show you how you should master the art of the start and really be able to do this right and not 
just worry about all the crazy stuff and get started. But then, right, we can improve this stuff and it's gonna look fucking crazy. So you should subscribe and I'll see you in the next show. Let's roll. It's great to see you. Bye.